Hi, it's Josie and today I've got five of my top tips to keep you safe working around your horse's feet. It's really important to be safe when working around your horse's feet, big animal. They certainly can do some damage even if they don't mean to. All of the tips that I share with you today are things that you need to make become a habit. So you do it without thinking about it. It becomes a habit. In the beginning, obviously, you need to um, think about it to do it so that it then becomes a habit. Make sure you stay till the last tip. The last tip is one that will get you out of trouble if you are having issues needing to deal with a horse's hind leg and it won't let you. Tip number one is looking after your toes. So let's start with when you're handling your front feet. When you handle the front feet of your horse, you should make it a habit to have the foot closest to your horse slightly turned that way. So that is because if the horse has a spook or something, pulls the foot out of your hand, you don't have your toe in the zone to get it stepped on. Trust me, horses stepping on toes hurt. So tip number two is whenever you're working with a horse that you don't know, or a horse that's a bit suspect about you handling its back legs, is you need to be level with the shoulder front leg of the horse. So this is where I would handle a horse's back leg. If I was a bit suspect, I would use perhaps a whip, um, a firm whip or something just to check that the horse is going to let me touch the leg without kicking. Because if you are here, Believe it or not, the horse can still kick you. They can do a thing called a cow kick, which is where this leg comes forward and kicks that way, and they can certainly get you. So if you manage to keep yourself in line with the front while you work out whether the horse is going to let you handle their back legs or not, you will be out of the kick zone. Tip number three which is something that is not easy to do because your instincts will be telling you to do the opposite of what I'm telling you. So whenever I'm handling any horse, including my own, because I have made this a habit, it just happens. I always, if I'm walking towards the hind end of the horse, my hand is on the horse and it's going down like this. It's on the rump and I am feeling the horse here and I am in as close as I can get. Why is this difficult? Because if you've got a horse that you think is going to kick you, your instinct's going to be to do this and get as far away as possible. The problem with that is when the horse kicks you, if she was to kick me now, she would give me a shove. It, it might hurt, but she would give me a shove. But if I've put myself way out here and she kicks me, I'm going to get the full force of the kick. So it's a little bit like, that's me, this is the horse's um, hind leg. If I'm up close, I get that. But if I move out, I get that. Sorry, sweetheart. So you can see that in close is the safest way to be. And with your arm up here, you will feel the horse um, move a muscle because it has to actually move its rump muscle to pick its leg up. So you're aware to be aware when you feel the horse's muscles move underneath your arm. So this should be a habit that you should do with all your horses when you're moving around the hind end and stay in as close as you can get. And that brings me to tip number four. So tip number four is, if I needed to do something down on um, her hoof down there, it's very hard if you've got a bigger horse to keep your hand here and um, put some hoof dressing on or, or look at something, whatever you're doing down there. So my tip number four for that, and what I do when I'm walking around, well, pardon me, when I'm working around the horse's foot down lower, is I always hold on to the tail. And why is that? Because for her to pick her hoof up in e on either side, she has to lift her tail slightly. Yep, like that. So I felt her tail, thanks, that was on cue. Um, I felt her tail lift slightly before she picked her hind leg up. So I could be holding the tail here and I'm always, you don't have to hold it tight, you just got your hand on it and then I can play with her foot. If I'm going over this way, I just would swap hands and then I could, um, uh, do stuff with her foot. And just a little extra tip in here, if you're a bit worried about that foot, you could always come through this way 
and work on this foot from this side because she's not going to be able to kick me over here. Well, I guess they could if they absolutely wanted to. But if I'm playing with a foot that she's not really comfortable with me, the chances of her actually uh, kicking is with that foot. Now my tip number five, this tip is useful when you have a hind leg that you need to do some work on and you know, perhaps the horse has cut itself and you need to dress it or I will give you the example of when it came in really handy for me. I had a new student come that I didn't know her or her horse and she bought her horse on the float and she had travel boots on them and as she went to get it off the float, the back uh, right hand side it was, uh, travel boot had slipped down and underneath the hoof and it was, so it was half on half off and flapping and the horse was just kicking constantly and she was too frightened to go in and get the um, boot off and I guess not without um, good reason because the horse was kicking. So if you need to do something to a hind leg what you would do is you will pick up the front leg that's on the same side as the leg you want to do work on. So if I ask Rihanna, she's got to put that foot down. And if I ask her to pick this up, now she's got all her weight on that foot and she cannot pick it up the ground to kick because she'll basically fall over. The trick with this though, is for this front leg, you need to hold it up very tight with the hoof right up by the elbow. If it's down there, they can just take it away from you. Just come forward, sweetheart. Good girl. They can take it away from you. So when you pick it up, lift it up really high, actually put the foot up here and hold tight. You hold that while somebody else, or, or somebody else holds the horse, whichever way it is, while someone deals with the hind leg. And that is how we got the boot off of the horse that was having a little bit of a panic attack because something was flapping around its um, hind leg. If you like tips like that and having your questions answered, you might like to join me in basic horse training. In the video description is a link. Click on that link and you can go and see what basic horse training is all about. It might just be for you. I'd love to see you there.